Okay, so this is a simple foiling problem where we have to multiply this product, or sorry, this uh, factor by this factor to get this product and then find each of the coefficients and sum them like so. So first, the, the, all we have to do is multiply uh, these two products. And to do that, first we multiply the um, x squared terms. So that's x to the power of 4. Then we're going to multiply the x squared by an x. So the first one we can do is x squared multiplied by 2x. So that would be 2x cubed. And the next term that is similar is 3x times x squared. So that would be 3x cubed. Now we can rewrite this as 5x cubed as they have the same a degree of x and 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So let's rewrite that. Now for the x squared terms, which is um, can be obtained by multiplying this x squared multiplied by this 2 or by multiplying this 3x multiplied by this 2x or by multiplying this negative 1 times this x squared. Now, looking at this, let's start with the first option. That would be 2x squared. This one right here multiplied by this one would result in 6x squared. And the negative 1 times x squared would be negative x squared. Now, clearly, we can rewrite this as 7x squared as this would be 8x squared minus an x squared. So let's rewrite that. And now moving on, we have to find the, the coefficients of when x is, has one degree. So that means we have to multiply x to the power of one's uh, constants. So there's one pair right there. And another pair would be 3x times 2. So let's multiply those. So that's 6x minus 2x. So that can be re rewritten as 4x. And finally, we have to multiply the two constants to find e. So that's simply negative 1 times positive 2, which would be minus 2. So now we know that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, c is equal to 7, d is equal to 4, and e is equal to negative 2. So to carry out this operation right here, all we have to do is 1 times 5 times 7 plus 7 times 4 times negative 2. So this can be rewritten as 35 plus negative 56, and that equals to negative 21.